I've recently seen on social media, on the news and, and this article that I read about individuals who are well known or celebrities converting to Christianity. For example, Russell Brandt and former porn stars Nala Ray and Brie Selstad. First of all, this is amazing news, news I'm pleased to hear about because the news usually isn't something positive. The whole of heaven is celebrating any sinner that decides to repent from their old ways, from their old beliefs and accept the Lord Jesus Christ as their Lord and Saviour. There isn't any person on earth who has done something so bad in their life that they can't change their minds about their lifestyle or about their beliefs and come to Jesus. It's true. Murderers, paedophiles, rapists, you name it. Jesus wants us all to repent and come to him wholeheartedly. So when we hear about a porn star, how quickly are we to say, well, this person living deep in sexual immorality, selling their body, putting it on the screen for everyone to see, we put on our judgment hats and we look down on these people. We look at celebrities and a lot of their lives is out there for all to see in the public domain. But that doesn't mean we know them or know anything about them or what they go through. Your normal average Joe has got a long list of things that they have done, which is obscene disgusting, disgraceful, greedy, selfish, wrong, you name it. But he can repent of his sins quietly in his house, whisper all his dirty secrets to God in prayer, turn to Jesus, change his whole life around and no one knows anything about his past. But these high profile, well-known celebrities or well-known people just so happen to live a lifestyle where, like I said, their lives are out there for all of us to see and scrutinize. And it's so easy, isn't it, for us to look on others and say, tut, tut, because we can see all their dirty out on show, but no one can see ours. Lucky us. Do you remember the story of Jesus when they bring a woman to accuse her of sleeping with some man and everyone's accusing, saying, kill her. And Jesus is like, yeah, yeah, you want to stone her because of the badness that she's done, yeah? All right, let's talk about the badness that you've done. I just don't understand the Christians that will jump on the comments and just say these really judgmental, hurtful, ignorant things. Saying, ah, oh, they're not sincere, they're lying, they're confused, they're mad. Saying they're doing it just to get likes and views and making comments about what they've decided to do next with their life or the clothes they're wearing now. Oh, he did a poster where he's talking about tarot cards. Like, give them a chance, please. I have to really take my hats off to any Christian celebrities because you guys have to face some next kind of criticism and attack. I pray that God give you the strength to handle that, for real. If I was a brand new Christian, newly baptised, and I had hundreds of people talking negatively about the things that I was doing, the choices I was making, the things I was saying or what I was wearing, this would be extremely difficult for me to keep walking with my head upright believing that I was forgiven and born again, believing that I can be changed through the work of the Holy Spirit. The enemy would easily be able to use a person like that to discourage me. And is that what we want? We want to discourage people to turn away from Christ? Make it make sense, please. When I first came to know Christ in my 20s and got baptised, I was still raving, I was still having sex out of marriage. There was lots of things that I was still doing. There's some things I did yesterday too, let's keep it real. Maybe not obvious that everyone can see and point it out, but I was selfish yesterday. I was impatient yesterday. I was unloving towards my husband yesterday. When you become a Christian and you accept Jesus and you get baptised, yes, God has made you brand new, but there's still some sin you need to shake off. There's still some habits that you need to unlearn and undo. And this takes time. It's a process. This is when it's clear, yeah, that there are two types of Christians in the world. There are real Christians and there are those that simply call themselves Christians. You know the ones that Jesus is going to say, move from me, I never knew you. If we're taking on Christ's name, we are saying that we represent Christ down here on earth. We are his ambassadors. We are his people. If we're calling ourselves Christians and we love Jesus, Please, can we actually be real Christians? Can we actually seek to become more and more Christ-like? Can we check our ways? Can we reflect on the things that we think and the things that we speak and the things that we do? Are these things Christ-like? Do these things give glory to God? How am I coming across here? Am I being a good representative of Christ? The Bible says a lot about how we should treat each other. Treat others with patience. Treat others with kindness. You treat others with love. You forgive, as in whatever they're doing, whatever they've done, it's for God to deal with that. When you see something come up in the news on your news feed, something about Kanye West, or you see a video of Kirk Franklin winding up himself on stage in Jamaica wearing tight top and tight shorts, 
if you have this feeling that you need to say something, you need to write something in the comments, stop and don't. <laughs> Kanye West, Kirk Franklin, Russell Brand, Nala Ray, Bree Solstead, they have their own relationship with Christ. Whether they've just met him or have known him a while, they will answer to Christ about the things that they do. The enemy comes to us all in different ways. Instead of condemning these people, talking about these people, passing judgment on these people, how about you pray for them? How about you show love and support? We're ripping Christ, y'all. Let's seek to do a better job at doing that. Let's learn God's ways and let's live God's ways. Let your conversation be with grace, for Christ is listening to the words you speak. Let compassion for one another be blended with all you say. Then you will reveal the character of Christ.